So Tim, how did you get started in your career? I wanted to be an architect since I was in the seventh grade. Um, I took a drafting class in junior high school and we just drew a simple 3D perspective and I was so amazed that you could do something like that um, that I just uh, began taking every architecture class, every drafting class I could take all through high school. If you were not an architect, what would you be? Rodeo clown. Because at least when life gets difficult for them, they've got a barrel to crawl into. But if I wasn't a rodeo clown, I would be a movie producer. Because I go pro everything. Mm -hmm. And I love getting all of the raw footage and just kind of putting it all together in just a, a small vignette, a um, little movie, a little memory. What do you find most fulfilling about your career? Well, I've been doing healthcare now for 20 plus years. So, creating uh, healing environments uh, for patients and families that uh, are usually undergoing very stressful periods in their lives and they're in very institutional, very stressful environments. So, how to create environments that alleviate all of that. Um, the other, other part that's really exciting to me is working with um, professionals such as yourself, um, who are talented, who are bright, um, who are motivated, um, and being able to offer some mentoring along the way. What would your coworkers be most surprised to learn about you? Um, I find jumping out of airplanes relaxing. I've got 175 jumps to date. I love uh, gourmet cooking. I'm the cook in the family. And at Christmas, I wrap all of the gifts. I'm all about boxes, ribbons, and bows. And I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Tell us about your socks. I get a lot of criticism <laughs> on the socks, uh, or a lot of compliments on the socks. They started in Europe. Um, I got a pair in Denmark at from family and um, decided that I, I really like them. So the, the more important the meeting, the more um, stressful the situation, the louder the socks get. What's your favorite vacation that you've taken and why? You know, probably the most recent one, which uh, was Costa Rica. We went there for our 25th wedding anniversary trip and uh, it was, white water in, spend uh, three or four days at an eco resort, no electricity, um, candlelit at night. It was relaxing, it was romantic, it was adventurous, and it was completely off the grid. So it was um, probably one of the best. What's the most important piece of advice that you've received that you'd like to pass on? I would say Know what it is you don't know, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Too often, as professionals, we feel that we need to have the answer for everything, and a lot of time, um, the wisdom comes from saying that you don't know. What is the most important thing you've learned about yourself while working for CPL? I, I would say, my ability to strike a work-life balance. Um, I know earlier in, in my career it probably tilted a lot more toward the um, workaholic side of things. Um, but you know at CPL there's, um, there's the space to allow for that work-life balance. I mean we're always going to have you know, some crisis, some emergency, some thing that needs to be done. But in order to really um, be in a good place to address all of those things, you, you've got to have, you've got to do the things that charge your batteries, the, the things that uh, are important to you, whether it's spending time with family or friends or just going out and doing fun stuff. The board of directors, uh, it's a dynamic group of guys uh, that um, are smart, 
we all have strengths and the, the things that we have planned to make CPO a dominant force in the AE industry um, in the future is going to be uh, it's going to be fun.